Once upon a time, in a little town, there was a boy who was quite lazy and always postponed things. He frequently postponed important tasks and fell prey to the habit of procrastination. This led to him lagging behind in his studies and other aspects of life compared to his peers, friends, and classmates. Despite numerous reminders from his family and teachers to appreciate his efforts, time, ignoring their counsel, he showed little concern for his future and squandered opportunities. He spent too much time on small matters. One day, a smart monk came to their village. He was famous for being really wise. Lots of folks wanted to meet him and gain knowledge from him. The young boy also thought of visiting the monk, wishing to get some advice to improve himself. To outshine his friends in all aspects of life, he reached the monk's dwelling and patiently waited. When it was his turn, he bowed to the monk and expressed, O oh, wise one, kindly assist me. I feel like a failure in life, falling behind my friends, classmates, and peers. I aspire to surpass them all and become the best. Please guide me on how to achieve that. The monk gazed at the young boy with kindness and responded, My child, you're in distress because you don't cherish your time. Procrastination and squandering precious moments contribute to your struggles. Allow me to share a story with you about in which you can grasp the significance of time. His joy knew no bounds. His happiness echoed repeatedly, resonating with fulfillment. In a way that helps you comprehend the importance of time, the boy nodded eagerly, attentive to the monk's story as the monk continued, Once upon a time, there was a king known for his generosity and kindness. He held a deep love for his people, always extending a helping hand in their times of need. One day, he encountered his former classmate from their Gurukul days. The classmate proved to be very indolent and impoverished. Devoid of a job, money, and respect, he consistently grumbled about his fate, often attributing his problems to others. The king identified his classmate and sympathized with him, inquired about his life and the challenges he faced. The classmate spoke sorrowfully. O king, I don't understand why everyone believes I'm incapable. Every attempt to secure a job ends in rejection. My enemies have spread the word that I'm always late with my work. I'm at a loss about what to do, expressed the classmate. The king responded saying, let's make a deal. Before sunset, come to my treasury and gather as much golden gems as you can. It will all be yours, proposed the king. Overjoyed, the classmate expressed profuse gratitude to the king, then hurried home to share the news with his wife. The wife, equally delighted, exclaimed, Go and collect the golden gems now. It's an auspicious time for you, the classmate replied. I can't go now. I am hungry. He requested lunch first, and his wife promptly prepared a meal. Slowly and leisurely, he ate, thinking he had ample time to acquire the treasure. After finishing his lunch, drowsiness overcame him, and he remarked, I should take a nap. I'll head to the treasury after I wake up. He lay down on his bed, closed his eyes. Anticipating a short nap, he ended up sleeping for two hours. Upon waking, he realized it was late in the afternoon. He gathered a few bags and proceeded towards the king's treasury. Along the way, the sun shone brightly and he felt the heat intensify. Deciding to rest under a tree before continuing, he sat down. A gentle breeze blew, creating a pleasant and comfortable atmosphere. Upon sitting down to rest, he quickly succumbed to sleep once more, unintentionally dozing for another four hours. Upon waking, he noticed evening drawing near, the sun on the verge of setting. In a hurry, he sprang up and started running towards the palace. After a while, he eventually reached the palace, but it was too late. The sun had set, and the palace gates were already closed by the time he arrived. The lazy man stood there, filled with disappointment. He had missed the opportunity to become wealthy, simply because he failed to appreciate the value of his time. The monk concluded the tale 
and observed the young boy, who was rendered speechless. The realization of his mistake filled the boy with shame, yet a sense of happiness emerged. The monk imparted wisdom through the story. Expressing gratitude to the monk for his guidance, the young boy pledged to amend his ways. Realizing the preciousness of time, he vowed not to squander it. Returning home, he committed to diligent work on his goals. Abandoning procrastination, he became more productive and achieved success. His newfound dedication not only led to success, but also brought him greater happiness and earned him increased respect from friends and family. Time is akin to gold, the most precious asset we possess. We have only a finite amount of it. In our lives, we should use it wisely and productively. Squandering time is something we must avoid at all costs. On things that don't matter, but concentrate on those that do. Timely execution of our tasks and responsibilities is crucial, but complete them punctually and with excellence. A renowned saying emphasizes, if you value your time, time will value you. But if you squander your time, time will mar your entire life. By being mindful of our time, we can achieve anything in life by utilizing our time wisely. But squandering time means losing valuable opportunities and regret later. Understand the worth of a single minute from a traveler who missed his train by just one minute. Learn the significance of one year from a student who failed in his annual exams. Those who appreciate their time can accomplish anything in their life, but those who disregard the value of their time often end up as failures in their life. If you aspire to achieve something in your life, avoid laziness and procrastination in your work. Otherwise, you might one day regret it, much like the lazy man who couldn't reach the palace before sunset. Therefore, always use your time wisely. Cherish small moments with your family and friends. By doing so, you will not only attain your goals and dreams, but also lead a fulfilling and satisfying life.